So a response is a chance to really celebrate the work of the ensemble that we are privileged to see. Mm-hmm. And I personally look forward to just talking about the work and the way that it was put together. I don't think there's any more anything more exciting than seeing live storytelling mm-hmm. and the way that the directors and the cast have chosen to tell it and I can't wait to talk about it. Mm. Oh, that was great. A response to me is the cornerstone of what KCACTF is about. Mm. It's our, it's the way we get to uh, teaching artists come from one institution to another and they get the chance to commune with other young artists and talk about their work. We get to honor and celebrate the work that's been done at that school and come together and exchange ideas and opinions about the work in order to learn and grow. I think it's especially important for us out here in the hinterlands where we don't get to go to an urban place. So we get that. That's our rare opportunity for us to get to come together and share what it is to be a theater artist. Yeah, I love that because actually... You don't know what your, you don't know what your play looks like. So, mm. when someone comes and says, "This is what I saw, and this is what I heard, and this is what I experienced," it's a completely different perspective than maybe you've had before, because there's they haven't been a part of the process at all. So it's brand new eye. Right, that outside perspective. Yeah. We get so insulated in our own institutions, again, especially out here in the Wild West, and uh, it's a chance to have that outside perspective, uh, both from a collegial and from a student perspective to, to, oh yeah, that's what we're doing. It, it's right, it feels good, but that honor and celebrate thing is really important. I love responding. Uh, it's one of the ways I sort of got started in this organization. And, and at the time, it was a way for me to go and meet new colleagues. Uh, and, and that we're spread out here in the West. But it was a chance to meet folks doing what I was doing at different places. And I loved it so much because I, I, I got to meet other students. And it's that eagerness, that, that love, that passion for the work that was so inspiring to us all. But where we could get together and share and, uh, and celebrate that work together and, and come together and say, wow, that was really great. We had a great experience. What would you think? And, and, and I thought that. That meant a lot to me. And then to have somebody come to our school and go, oh, you, you, you saw what we were hoping you'd see. Or, oh, we never thought of it that way before. And it's just that, that sort of synergy is what, what makes KCACTF and responding important and was so vital to my career as we went along. Yeah, and I feel also that um, I learn so much. <laughs> Mm. When I go to other schools and I see their shows and sometimes you can kind of think, am I weird for the way that mm. I'm looking at this particular piece? And, and then you find that um, y- you, you're, not, you're not weird at all. Like we're all, we're all in this community of live storytelling together. So I feel like I learn, I learn a lot. I also love when my colleagues come and they say something that maybe I've said in one way and they say it in a different mm. way and the actors and the team and the ensemble all goes, oh, I've never heard that before. And, and I go, oh, well, no, we've all heard it and, and thought it in a different way than I ever had before. So to have that, that outside nudge and that outside perspective, you know, the expert from out of town is super helpful in, in a response. And, and it doesn't feel like criticism in a way it feels like we're well we're all in this together and that, that we're all we're all making theater and uh, we're all inspired by the work and by doing the work that really is so cool yeah and really we're having a conversation yeah, about yeah. it yeah we're just learning about it and nobody is the expert there isn't any any anyone that's more uh any smarter than anybody else it really is that chance for us to to be together as a group, as a collective. Mm-hmm. I, like, I like that communing with them. Yeah. Mm. 
I think the, we, what we hope for in a response in, in, as far as a, an experiential thing is that the students will see it as an opportunity to have a reflection of their work so that they can feel validated in what they have done and celebrated in what they have done, but that they can take something new away to work on the next time. Okay. That they have something to, to not change what they're doing, but to consider for the next time. And that they can support uh, what that director and what that ensemble has brought together to, to grow and to prosper. It makes it more educational, I think, in that way. Yeah, I think sometimes, and I, in my undergrad program, we were not a part of KCACTF. Mm. So there's this tendency to think you're in your department and there's a kind of philosophy, a way of working. So in KCACTF, it's amazing when someone comes to your your place and they give you some feedback and they, they like you were saying, David, they, they phrase things in a different way. They see some some different aspects and you realize, wow, the theater community reaches way outside my own institution. It, it includes all of these other schools. Um, these people are kind of talking the same language, like it's, I'm not insulated here. I'm, I'm connected to other schools, other, other places that kind of speak my language. I get the most excited when I go to response, and it's that first moment of, is everybody to sit forward? Do they want to hear it? Yeah. Or are they afraid? Are they afraid I'm going to criticize and, and, and somehow damage what's, what's all the... And I'm going to take away from their experience. And I love it when they go, oh, 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 they're here to support us and help us rather than diminish. And, and I think that that moment where everybody sits forward and goes, oh, I want to know more. Tell me more. Tell me more about the work that I've done and the work that we've done so that, again, we can celebrate it and we can specifically comment on each person's contribution to the process, which is, I think, tricky business. How can we, how can we try to touch everybody in the room and yet really celebrate the work that's been done? When they sit forward, that's, that's when you know, oh, it's happening. I think the biggest challenge of a response is if, everybody, if anyone's afraid, if they're afraid that we're going to somehow uh, criticize their product, their production, their work in a way that isn't supportive. But when we come to a response in a way that we're all in this together, that I see you and I hear you, and I see that that work has a value because of where you are and where I am, uh, so that they're not afraid anymore that they're willing to hear and, and to be heard because a good response is about communication. How can we, how can we do this both thing together? So I think the, the trick is to get everybody to come together rather than feel like, oh, I have to guard myself. How can we make it so that it isn't a, an experience where we need to be guarded, but where we can share ideas collectively together? Yeah, and I think there is a statement that um, we certainly learned from our training and responding to say that you know we are just here to tell you what we saw and heard it is in no way meant to change your production or or to to change what you're trying to do at all we're just we're just here to respond and if it's helpful to you great and uh if it's not discard it i think that's a really important thing to say because i you can really trust the students, the ensemble, to know when something is is helpful to them, and and when it's not. So I think that statement's really helpful. Um, oh, the way that I like to structure a response is um, as I'm taking notes. I will star or I'll circle something mm. that I thought was awesome. Mm. And I'll, I'll especially circle all of those things so that uh, that's how I start. Like, 
um, when I came into this space mm. and I looked at mm. the world of the play, already there was just so many things that pulled me in into the world that you were trying to create. Let me tell you what I saw. Mm. Um, so uh, that's, that's what I'll start with. Uh, if there's some challenges in the, uh, in the, in the play, maybe the actors are, I feel like maybe they're not listening, they're not, um, they're not moving the story forward because of something simple like that. There might be uh, a place where they really are listening, like they really landed it mm -hmm. and there was mm -hmm. some really great connection there. I'll go to that first and then say that in this part in Act One, you you might have used what you were doing there in in Act Two. That was that was awesome. You're really showing us how to how that worked. So, I like to start out with what was really hitting home, just from my own perspective. And it again, it's just my perspective. Um, but what what I was seeing that where I really responded. Yeah, I saw that. I think it's. I'm always hoping for divine intervention and a response. When I watch it, I'm taking a lot of notes and I'm looking for, well, what's my way in? What's my way to begin this conversation? First, I'm, like you, I'm going to try to look for those moments that are really were great. I want to, I want to, again, I want to celebrate those big moments that were wonderful and try to be so specific. When this happened in the production, I felt this. I try to keep it personal as well as specific. I think the moments where I've been less effective when they're more general. And I think the more specific I can be, the better. But trying to find that way in to begin that conversation, how can we begin the, the way that we can talk to one another? Looking for specificity, looking for a way in, trying to find a way to touch everybody in the room. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to work like you, I'll try to work chronologically through a response but I also don't want to get too caught up in the minutia of every moment. Mm -hmm. So even though I've taken a lot of notes, I'm trying to edit as I go through and say, no, this is an important note for everybody so that we can take everything away. So it's a great balancing act of trying to be specific, at, specific in every instance, but not too much caught up in the minutia. How can I make sure everybody gets a comment? but feel that I've touched the whole production. And I think, wow, that really takes practice. There are wonderful, wonderful responses that hit all those elements, but everybody finds it in their own way. What's your way in if you're a designer, you're a director, you're an actor? If we're really trying to look at those students, everybody being engaged, and how, how, can, we, how can we make that as helpful as possible that evening? Yeah, and I think you can always include the experience when you when you first come into the theater. It's so good when you're you're getting your tickets when you're there right at the door and you're ready to go into the theater and they're handing you the programs. You know, already they're setting up an atmosphere for you, and I I love being able to give feedback about how how I was greeted and how I felt mm -hmm. when I was invited into this space. And then just sitting there for a few minutes, just looking at the at the set, you know, this world that's being created for me before the play even starts, the music that I'm hearing, mm -hmm. if there is any, okay. like what's the environment, what's the atmosphere before the play even begins? Because those kinds of um, that kind of attention is is due a lot of times to people that are behind the scenes. So it's really helpful to notice that early on so everybody feels like, oh, yeah, the, the work that I did on sound and, and light and, you know, house manager, that's all being noticed right away at the top. Which also takes us to that time <clears throat> before. It's the best when we can get together and have that time with the director or members of the team before with a dinner before, or just a little time before so we can talk about, well, how was this process to you? How did it feel? Who, who might use a little extra attention or a little extra feedback or uh, a little more praise? Because they work their behinds off through the process, 
could we recognize that in the, in, in the response? And uh, these people came in late, gives me context for the response. I know, oh, this person came in a week before the show opened. So let's just remain committed to the educational process as well, because it really is about so much about the process as much as about the product. And we want to honor that from what the director and the team tells us about the whole okay. event. It's always the most difficult when we get to a response where a production that hasn't gone very well. Uh, hopefully we've learned a little bit about that in the dinner before, or if we haven't. Although I have found that some of the most memorable responses for me were productions that didn't go very well. But we could create a dialogue and talk about, well, how did we get here? And, and how was this process? And I, and I learned a lot. So that I learned that, oh, you know, four people dropped out early or um, we only had two weeks or so we could get context for why this project maybe didn't go as well as it did, as it, we'd hoped. So then we can we can figure out, well, OK, well, maybe next time these are things that were not as clear for me so that maybe next time we could make those decisions earlier or we could start or rehearsals earlier or we could start design conferences earlier or. I think the productions that tends to be less developed can engender more conversation and less, oh, you know, there was this moment and that moment and this moment. Maybe we can talk in broader strokes. Because again, we want that. We want that company to go out and go, hey, I appreciate what they said to me and here's what I can work on next time. And But they really saw me tonight. They saw this production and they saw these folks. That's the main thing is that everybody goes out and goes, okay. I feel like I want to do more and not, I never want to see this again. Yeah, because you do want to foster this idea of, I, I, I love responses. I want people, yeah, I want them to come so. back and um, give me feedback again. But um, I also think it helps to ask open-ended questions <sighs> like, um, you know, tell me about that moment or tell me about that choice to put the... Um, to put the, the character out there in the middle of the audience. Tell me how you decided to, to do that. Um, and that's really helpful because, I, you know, if it's not clear to me, that's really all that's happening is that something's not clear to me. So I need, I need to know what was behind that, that decision to do that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I learn a lot too just by, by asking what was behind that choice? I think it's the trickiest sometimes to respond to a production that I've directed or that I've been involved with before. I think it's trickiest to put that, my own preconceptions behind me and go, I don't know this play and I don't know how it ought to, quote, ought to be done. But rather to see what's being brought to me on that night. And I think that that's where oftentimes respondents can get hung up is that, oh, wait, this ought to be done one way or another. Mm -hmm. When in fact, what I want to do is take in a production where it is rather than where I think it ought to be. And that, I think that takes real um, compassion and, uh, and kindness. And, uh, and I think ultimately that's what we want to do in a response is be compassionate and kind. And wow, again, what Nancy said is, we want people to want to have another response and to feel that they were taken care of in a response. And it's those places that feel like, well, I never want another response. That's what we are striving to never have happen again. Yeah, and I think it's helpful to even say, like, if you had experience with that play before, to say, wow, I saw, I saw some choices made this way and you guys chose to do this and this was the experience I had because I saw it the way that you did it. No, that's, okay. that's a, I think that's a, it's good to own that you've had experience maybe with a play before and then see what the differences are and, and communicate those things. No, that's so good. Yeah. I think also a response is not a lecture about our own background in the theater, our own our own uh, theater history knowledge or our own production knowledge, especially those of us who have been in the theater a long time. 
it's important to try to come in as open to that experience as possible and to again honor and celebrate what's been done that very evening and uh, I think that that makes a great response is to be right there that night. I'd love to uh, pinpoint moments and I I love it when um, you know you can give every single person in the ensemble a little a note about when you came in and you did you you um, connected with your partner there I felt so excited so about that that was a beautifully craft, crafted moment um, I feel like there's you can give every single person some little piece like that that uh, lets them know that a moment really landed as far as you were concerned um, just be watching so that everybody gets everybody gets a little piece that feels like yeah I, I was seen and and heard mm. in the work that I was doing and I think even though I'm not a designer I still need to talk to all those technical mm -hmm. elements from my own perspective I can know I can still note wow I thought that scenic design really was effective here here and here uh, the treatment on the doors was particularly evocative to me the the texture on the walls the costumes well here's how the costume struck me and this particular costume was this and that and it struck me I don't have to be a costume designer to talk about costumes in an area to that I think is always important to me because they're always undervalued as stage management. I can always talk about a show that really was tight and moved along really well and, t and celebrate that work of that, of that student back there who made that evening run smoothly and beautifully. I think it's always tricky to talk to colleagues. This is where I think that uh, a good response wants to address the colleague but doesn't want to make it about the colleague. I want to say, hey, great job. I, I saw what you did. But I think the evening is really about the students. That's just me, but I think it's about the students' work. Yeah, yeah, I do too. I had something I forgot what it was. Yeah, I know. We're trying to cover a lot, David. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I know what it was. Uh, so it, it was, I'm just riffing off something that you Please. said about design because I am definitely not a designer I'm I'm an actor I'm gonna be looking at the the work of the actors first but I'll notice like the like in one production I saw there was a lot of levels a lot of levels and uh, I thought well this this really makes me think of status you know like this particular ground plan is a lot about status to me and that's that's something that could be valuable to a designer that's trying to establish that. And in that particular case, it was like, yeah, I, I, I was, that's what they were trying to communicate. It isn't always the case. But um, just to kind of notice how the environment is, uh, is landing on me, like, um, yeah, there's a lot of angles. There's, there's still things to talk about, even if you're not. A, a designer necessarily. Mm. I want to elaborate a little bit more about trying to talk to everybody in the room. It's really important, but if I don't have a comment for somebody, I'm not going to try to make one up. Uh, in terms of, I could talk about a group of, you know, the ensemble that you gosh, how effectively you moved all that furniture and how still and present you were. I don't have to hit everybody with by name and by moment, but I want to hit what they did. In terms of, I don't want them to feel like, well, oh, I'll be made, I'll be made something up for me. I, I really want to try to touch on each area in a specific way, and I thought you you talked about that too. Is again not being a designer, but but I can talk about how design affected me, mm -hmm. and I think that's the most important thing. It's not that I have to be that person, um, and to have fun doing it. Not yeah. try to do it with technical terms or anything else, just to try to have fun sharing my experience of being in the theater. Yeah, and really just noticing, um, as the respondent, noticing how something made you feel, um, whether it's a, it's a design element or um, how, what you started to think about because of some dialogue that was happening 
um, really just noticing what your own experience was mm-hmm. when in any given moment and, and mm-hmm. tracking that, like writing that down. Well, when that happened, I, I thought of this thing or I was excited by that. Um, really noticing what's going on inside of yourself at different points of the production, mm-hmm. I think are helpful just to track that. Yeah. I think it's important too to to look at the use of certificates of merit in a in a response. Mm-hmm. I know we talked about that. And I think it's good to consider certificates of merit in a variety of ways. It could be for a specific, a terrific program. It could be for a great bit of visual design on a program. It could be for any number of reasons. But I think those certificates can help a, a university, a college, a community college say to their administration, wow, we, we got noticed for the right reasons. And, and that this, it could help that program, it could help that student just to say, ah, a boy, ah, a girl, uh, keep doing it. And it, it doesn't cost us anything, there's a monetary cost, but if there's an Im- immense emotional and psychological boost to say, you really did something well. I think it's important for us to have integrity about that. It really was good, but let's celebrate celebrate that work and a certificate of merit is a great way to do it yeah I think so too and I don't know this is not something we necessarily need to talk about but it just makes me think about the Ryans too and how Mm. you know we've talked about that before you're always nominating Mm. a Ryan and I love talking to the director about the Ryans in terms of um, in, instead of, you know, obviously the student has to be eligible, but um, what student do you feel really lifted the production, like was really there and working hard, and they may not have been the, the best actor, whatever that means, but they've, they've really uh, supported that production in some way. Um, they've, they've just been there to really lift up the ensemble and you know who's going to benefit from the experience of going to the festival um whether or not their performance was knocking it out of the park you know somebody that was just really an ensemble player and you know they're gonna they're really gonna value their experience when they go to the festival that's just another way to look at the ryan's too i thought she hit that clear out of the park, but it, it, it is not a best actor, or best actress award. It's a who could use it the most, who will use it the most, who will go to festival, who's worked throughout the whole process, not just their performance. It's a it's an educational thing, not a best actor award. I always like the Ryan experience to be a mutual decision between the director mm-hmm. and the respondent. I, I don't think it's, it says in the form, one pick, one pick respondent and director, but I think it's better if we do it together. It serves the university and the college more than trying to pick two. I think we can do we can do the best work when we're in collaboration. Yeah. Yeah, I I like to connect with a student director mm hopefully by having some time with them before the production. I love having the chance to to talk over coffee or Mm -hmm. over dinner. Mm -hmm. I know you mentioned that before. And uh, that being in that setting where you're just having food, it's very casual, you're just sitting around, you're taking in the town, you're taking in the community as a whole, and just asking, and, and this is especially true for students, like, how did you come upon doing this project? What what motivated it? Where did it come from? Tell me about your process, and uh, you can learn so much about what was what was behind um, just bringing together this material, whatever it was, from the student. Uh, what they were, what their passions were about it. What uh, you know, if it if it was a faculty member's idea to do it, or if it was their own idea, like that completely changes the lens and the way that you're going to respond. Mm. So that, yeah, that little bit of time where you're just being people That's and amazing. talking about how how you found your way into it is really important. I think. Yeah. I think it's the best. 
I think our job is to really try to disarm the situation, of course, everybody. The, the old term for a respondent was adjudicator, which implies that we're going to come in black robes and we're going to have a gavel. And so to try to change the temperature of that and go, look, where are you from? How long have you been here? What, what's your experience been of being at this institution? Or what's your experience been on this play? Maybe we can figure out a way to kind of tone that down a little bit and feel like we're, we're all colleagues. Even the student just trying to go, well, where, where are you in your program? And what are you hoping to get out of this? How is the process to work on this play? But I think Nancy said that really well as to how to, how to make it more a human response than a, than a who's done this longer, how important this is. Let's just have a, an experience as human beings, as, as theater makers, and see what we can learn from one another. But that also translates in, into the room. So we're done with the play. Everybody's lined up. And are they, are they terrified or are they ready? And then trying to offer some, some human things to them about being here. I'm a fan of this product program. I'm, I'm a fan of your director. I, I really loved having dinner. I learned a lot about what it's like to be in this place and, and how much fun you've had or what challenges you've faced or to try to make it so that there's a context for the event rather than, oh, it was good or it was bad, thumbs up or thumbs down. How can it be a human experience rather than a judged experience? Yeah. I don't give any, when I go to a response, I don't give any specific response to anybody outside the room. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're all in this together. Uh, there are questions sometimes from another faculty member. Could you write me a letter and so that I could go into my file for my tenure promotion? That's not what KCACTF is about. Uh, it's not for evaluated pur purposes in that way. It's really just looking at this place and this time that's a different conversation between that faculty member and their chair, and um, I, I, that's not that's not what these are about. This is about the students. Um, I think if that director wants specific feedback, we'll learn that in the dinner before. Oh, I'd really like to know this about mm -hmm. my directing or about. I've never directed Breck before. Could you talk about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that afterwards, or or what, how how can I best help you? so that it's a dialogue rather than a monologue. I think that's the whole thing about responses. How can we make it a dialogue rather than a monologue? That's a really great point about asking the director, is there, is there anything you would like me to address and give specific mm -hmm. feedback to? Um, that's really helpful going into it, into the response in the first place. Mm -hmm. So the show's over, and the stage manager usually is the one trying to uh, wrangle. wrangle the chickens into the auditorium. So how they wrangle them is, tells me a lot in terms of, oh, we're here, the adjudicators here, everybody sit down and be quiet, and we're going we're gonna to have uh, wisdom imparted to us. You know, everybody's hunkered down, all body language, right? How, how are they? Are they... In the crouch, ready for to be hit, or are they willing to sit forward and go? How's it going to go? And then based on that, you know, I try to. Well, for me, I try to want to disarm it a little bit. I want to say, you know, I'm not really here to judge you, and then say something like, "Well, no, I really am here to judge you." No, no, I'm here for us to have a conversation. And so it's that that first moment, anytime, whether it's in a rehearsal process or in a response, how can I take the air out of the room and try to make sure that we're we're all on the same page and that we're all, we're all in this together. Even though I'm the old man in the room, but maybe we're all still learners. Because I'm going to learn from them as much as they're going to learn from me, hopefully. I think it's also really important to notice, you know, what, where they are on the run. Is this oh, opening night good. or is it closing night? So uh, if it's Closing night, it feels like more oh, of a boy. celebration. Like let's let's celebrate the work that you did. If it's opening night, it's a, it's pretty sensitive. Like how is it coming across? Mm, so I, good. I don't do very many responses on opening night, but um, yeah, just kind of being sensitive of where they are in the run. And I love what you so said about the way people are gathered into the space. 
you can tell a lot just by watching um, how they get back into their street clothes and come back and are ready to receive um, feedback. So that's, that's a really great thing to watch, that interim time. Like I'm usually taking notes like, okay, what do I want to say? I'm circling the things, but then I'm also kind of looking at how everybody's doing, changing out of costume and coming back into the space. And, and, and how can we frame the event? We're not here to redirect or play. You have done great work with your directors and your ensemble. Stay the course. These are things to think about next time. Stay the course with your, with your family, with your ensemble, so that you can honor the work that you've done thus far. I know you're going to hear this and go, oh, maybe I should do something, but that's not the case at all. So I think that's important, how to frame that whole... Framing is so important at the beginning. How can we, how can we make this a, an event where we can all share something but not change anything? Like, yeah. Come on. I, I would just say really take in where you are mm -hmm. as a respondent. Like what's this community, the larger community, what's the, the feeling, the atmosphere of the program itself, the department itself. Just really getting a feel for as much as you can, how everyone's working together how long they've been working on this project, how big is the program, um, how, how much has you know maybe one person done four pretty major things yes, yes. on the production so that there, there's few people creating this piece of theater. Like that's all really important to, to take in um, when giving a, a response, just kind of, yeah, looking at the lay of the land like you're talking about. Mm, it's perfect.